all my beautiful viewers i hope you all are fine and doing well so what's up uh i hope you are enjoying your day so i am saida fatma rizvi as you all know i am your favorite physicist and youtuber and i bring for you people the very exciting and informative videos of physics and this is chan this channel name is physics encyclopedia so please do like share and subscribe to my channel and share my videos to more like people because these are the informative videos and i i think that uh, i deserve this this thing because i want more like views please spread my videos worldwide okay so uh, as you people know that uh, these videos require hard work and this is the subject of physics which is not the bed of roses okay so i hope that you people get my point so today we are going to start with another interesting topic which is about simple pendulum and this is one of the example of the simple harmonic motion wow have you people have heard about the simple pendulum have you people have seen the simple pendulum yes this is the device which is used in our daily life as a playing toy or we can say for observation for experimentation simple pendulum is used and this is one of the example of the simple harmonic motion so let's discuss that what is simple harmonic motion what is simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion is that type of motion in which the body moves to and fro about its mean position like the mass attached to the spring and the simple pendulum okay mean position is the uh, point through which the body moves through which the body moves or we can say the center point okay so so simple harmonic motion is that type of motion in which the body moves to and fro from its mean position like you can see in this diagram o point is the mean point and it is moving from point a to b a and b are the extreme position and o is the mean position when we apply the force on the simple pendulum it will move towards the extreme position like to, towards a or b so here from which position is uh, the simple pendulum motion starts its motion starts always from the mean position okay <clears throat> so let's discuss further about the simple pendulum what is simple pendulum okay so let's come towards the construction of the simple pendulum a point mass attached to the light inextensible string and suspended from the fixed support is called the simple pendulum okay we have taken the bob which is the point mass which is attached to the light inextensible string and is supported by the fixed support is and this type of device is known as simple pendulum the vertical line passing through the fixed support is the mean position of the simple pendulum okay that simple vertical line passing through the fixed support is known as what the mean position of the simple pendulum the vertical distance between the point of suspension and the center of mass of the suspended body okay uh the vertical distance here you people uh, concentrate on the point that the vertical distance distance between the point of suspension or center of mass and the center of mass of the suspended body is called the length of the simple pendulum and is denoted by l length is denoted by l so here let us consider about the simple pendulum you can see over here the bob is attached to the net of the spring the two forces uh, are acting on the bob the upward force which is known as the tension and the downward force which is known as the weight of the bob so these two forces are cancelling the effect of each other so we resolve the weight into the two components uh, we uh, which we will discuss in further video okay so here you can see that the bob uh, is at the center which is known as the mean position here they have taken a b c so uh, they have named extreme position as b and c 
so the length of the uh, that simple pendulum is denoted by l so i hope that you people have cleared all these points so i will discuss further about the simple pendulum the about the significance the features of the simple pendulum so let's start further if we bring the bob towards the extreme position a then the net force is not zero there is no net force acting on the spring as the tension of the spring cancel the component of the weight m cos theta okay so there is no net force acting on the spring as i have discussed before that the tension is acting acting in the upward direction uh, of the bob and the weight of the bob is acting downward we resolve weight into two components mg cos theta and mg sin theta weight is equal to mg so we resolve weight into two components mg cos theta and mg sin theta so mg cos theta and the tension of the spring cancel the effect of each other so net no net force will act uh, on the spring okay so there is no motion along the this direction the component of the weight mg sin theta is directed towards the mean position and act as the restoring force okay so um, we resolve uh, mg cos theta into two components uh, mg sorry we resolve weight into two components weight is the product of mass and gravity so uh, mg cos theta is cancelled by tension of the spring and mg sin theta will act as a restoring force and, and is always directing towards the and is always directing towards the mean position due to this force the bob come towards the mean position okay so let's discuss further about the components of the simple pendulum velocity so first feature of the simple first component of the simple pendulum is the velocity its velocity the simple pendulum velocity is maximum at the mean position and minimum at the extreme position so if the motion of the simple pendulum is directed from the, towards the mean position and um, towards the mean position the motion of the simple pendulum can't stop so it means that the velocity of the simple pendulum is maximum at the mean position and minimum at the extreme position why why the velocity of the simple pendulum is minimum at the extreme position because as you can see uh, in the previous diagram let me show as you people see in the previous diagram that at a uh, point b and c which are the extreme positions the bob will stop its journey uh, at uh, this some at some instant so at that point the velocity become zero and you can see at the mean position a the uh, bob is continuously moving so the velocity is the velocity of the simple pendulum is maximum at the mean position and minimum at the extreme position okay let's come towards the force the force of this simple pendulum is maximum at the extreme position and minimum at the mean position so if we apply the external force and uh, the force is directed from um, from that from o to a uh, we have con let me consider that o is the mean position and uh, a and b are the extreme positions so if the bob is directed from o to a we can see that the force will be maximum at the extreme positions and minimum at the mean position o to a or o to b though so the force will be maximum at the extreme positions and minimum at the mean position so the acceleration will be maximum at the extreme position and the minimum at the mean position the third component of the simple pendulum is that uh, the acceleration will be maximum at the extreme position because there is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time so it will be maximum so the acceleration will be maximum uh, at the 
extreme position and minimum at the mean position we have already studied in the newton second law of motion when the force act upon the body and its duration is produced the mag uh, magnitude is of the force is directly proportional to the magnitude of acceleration and inversely proportional to the mass of the body so here uh, the magnitude of the force is maximum at the extreme position so we can say that the acceleration will also be maximum at the uh, uh, extreme position and uh, we have already studied we have studied in case of simple uh, harmonic motion that the force is directly directed to directly proportional to that of the displacement so the displace maximum displacement is covered at the extreme position the maximum displacement is covered at the extreme position it means that um, uh, the force will be maximum at the extreme position the acceleration will be maximum at the extreme position it means that the acceleration the magnitude of the acceleration is directly proportional to the magnitude of the displacement so the displacement is maximum at the extreme position acceleration is also maximum at the extreme position um, whereas displacement is minimum at the mean position and acceleration is also minimum at mean position because why why i have told you the reason because the uh, magnitude of the displacement is directly proportional to the magnitude of the acceleration so it means that the displacement is maximum at the extreme position okay Direction of the acceleration. It is clear that the speed of the bob increases while moving from A to O during due to the restoring force which act towards O. We have stated that mg sin theta will act as a restoring force and is always directed towards the center point O, which is the mean position. So, um, speed of the bob increases while moving from uh, A point A point A which is the uh, extreme position to O which is the mean position the speed of the bob increases uh, while moving from A to O due to the restoring force which act towards the O therefore the acceleration of the bob is directed towards the O okay similarly as the bob moves from uh, O to B okay uh, from O to B, its speed decreases due to the restoring force which again act towards the O, okay? So, at the extreme position, I already have told you people that the, at the extreme positions, the velocity of the simple pendulum is zero, okay? Whereas, at the mean position, the velocity of the simple pendulum is maximum, it follows that the acceleration of the bob is always directed towards the mean position O. Hence, the, mo uh, the motion of the simple pendulum is simple harmonic motion. Okay, the acceleration of the bob is uh, directed towards the mean position which is O. Hence, uh, the motion of the simple pendulum is simple harmonic motion. There are some more terms which are used in the simple harmonic motion. Vibrations. One complete round trip of the vibrating body from its mean position is called a one vibration. Let me show you the figure. Okay, come. Here you can see in the figure that uh, if the bo uh, bob uh, which move from point A to B and B to C and then come towards uh, B point so uh, the uh, simple pendulum will cover uh, one rotation so wait so one complete round trip of the vibrating body about its mean position is called the one vibration so uh, let's come towards the second term which is the time period the time taken by the vibrating body to complete one vibration is called the time period frequency number of vibration per cycle of the vibrating body in one second one sec uh, in one second number of vibration per cycle of that vibrating body is called the frequency 
and the last term which is used in the simple pendulum is the amplitude the maximum displacement of the vibrating body on either side of its mean position is called the simple pendulum okay if the body covers the maximum displacement from its mean position then it is known as the amplitude here we have taken the amplitude of the simple pendulum so the uh, maximum the displacement uh, cover, is covered by the simple pendulum the maximum will be the amplitude from its mean position so uh, let's discuss about the important feature of the simple harmonic motion a body executing simple harmonic motion always vibrates about its mean position it is clear um, its acceleration is always directed towards the mean position we have discussed it before the magnitude of the acceleration is directly is proportional to the displacement from the mean position acceleration will be zero at the mean position and maximum at the extreme position velocity will be maximum at the mean position and zero at the extreme position time period of the pendulum is the time to complete one cycle so thanks a lot this is all about the simple pendulum which is an example of the simple harmonic motion do try it at the home or in the lab and do perform an experiment which will clear our concepts about the main term which are used in uh, the simple harmonic motion is the velocity velocity in the simple pendulum will be maximum at the a mean position and minimum at the uh, will be zero at the extreme position similarly acceleration uh, of the simple harmonic motion uh, which is we are discussing about the simple pendulum is maximum at the extreme position and zero at the mean position similarly um, we have discussed that the displacement is also um, the displacement is also maximum at the extreme position and minimum at the mean position and we have discussed that the acceleration is directed towards the mean position and um, we have also discussed that the magnitude of the displacement is directly proportional to the magnitude of the acceleration so it means that the uh, acceleration will be maximum at the extreme position and minimum at the mean position so we have discussed all these points in this video in detail so i hope that you people like the video please share my videos more and more worldwide spread these videos because it requires a lot of hard work i hope um um, and I will give Shara on my videos if you people like subscribe and uh, share my videos more and more I will take the name of that person so please stay tuned and um, take care of yourself Allah Hafiz